Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth. A warm welcome to you wherever it is you watching around the world. This is Enterprise Friday on Enterprise TV. I am Henry EGBK. Now let's quickly move to take a look at the newspaper headlines before heading straight into our um, main conversation for the morning. While you do that, we will then join you to please do visit our website daily at www.enterprisetvnews.com and also remember to follow, like and comment on all our social media platforms at Enterprise TV 7. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Enterprise TV 7. My guest today to do justice to our newspaper headlines with me in the studios is Mr. Cyril Abaku. He is a public affairs analyst and a broadcaster. You're welcome to Thank Enterprise you. Morning Thank today. You. Thanks for having me. Thank you for, for granting us your, your, your time. So let's quickly move to our newspaper headlines today. And um, first on the list is from the Guardian newspaper. And the big story there says EFCC probes NSIPA beneficiaries in alleged forex allocation abuse. And on the bottom um, slip of the newspaper, we have Create Economic Management Team, NES, tells Tinubu, a wake-up call to African leaders, and that is coming from um, the, the Guardian also. And still on the Guardian newspaper, we have um, Naira battles a fresh threat, falls below 1,200 Naira per dollar at parallel market. Navy decries report on complicity uh, in oil theft, while groups are blamed Masab for underdevelopment in Ogoni. Uh, Mr. Cyril, let's, yeah. let's take a, a jab at uh, this um, a, a big story. Um, though it, it didn't make um, the, the centers spread of, of, the, of, the, of the new newspaper, but I think it's still very important we take a look at it. And that is on the issue of Naira trickling down right it's 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 facing a newer threat in the parallel market when would we ever close this this gap no we are not working towards closing it and that's the sad part of the um, the story we're not working towards closing it i think government has sort of allowed the Naira to have a free reign when i mean free reign to have a free fall the reality is that anywhere freedoms are given freedoms are have to be defined Otherwise, it, it, freedom is not, it's not autonomy. You okay. know what I mean? Yes, it's, it's, it's not autonomy. What the government has defined as freeing the Naira, floating the Naira, mm. is more like giving the Naira an autonomy. Now, if you give the Naira an autonomy, something we are spending, we're working to end, we're saving, mm. we're investing, and you keep, I, I give it autonomy. How do you expect us to be able to have a measure of control? Even, mm. people, even you as a, as an individual, have con has con have control over your money. Go then government that prints and produces the money or mints the money is telling us that it has given that it has, it has allowed, uh, allowed the Naira to float. <clears throat> when you allow the Naira to float, you want market forces to determine. Uh, you see, this whole thing is just very funny. Market forces in, in an economy where regulation is neither here nor there. Duh. Market forces in, in an economy where the Naira is still seriously tied to the apron strength of the dollar. And then those who have the dollar are not... Uh, the, the dollar is cast, first of all. Mm -hmm. And those who have access to the dollar are the well beloved of those in power. So it means you are indirectly... You are, you are, you are indirectly punishing the poor mm. for no sin of theirs. Because in the end, who, who spends the night anyway? It is those who, in the reality of our current economy today, are those who cannot access the dollar. Because in Nigeria today, this economy is thriving more on the dollar than on the Naira. Coming back to the question, in the parallel market, it will collapse because... More Naira, uh, more. I mean, if it does work like that, we, we have more more of the Naira chasing the dollar. Mm. So it, it, you know, it's it's it, it's economics. But if you're someone who deals with these things directly, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's it's, it's economics. Everything. It, it is not the, the Naira that is falling. It is the government. Mm. It is the government that is mishandling, manhandling, mm. rough handling the Naira. It's not the, the Naira doesn't have doesn't have a life of it. It it, it, it is an an, an, an inanimate thing. It responds to policy. So mm. the question is, what is the policy mm. that has led the Naira to its free fall? In, after World War I, in Germany, 
they looked at what Germany had done, okay? And the allies came, 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 came together and said they needed to re easily reconfigure whatever to, you know, to restart Germany. And what they said, they called Weimar. <coughs> and so Germany now had what was called the Weimar Republic. The problem was that the, the Germans are, not, are normally very martial, very subservient, very, you know, this sort of command and control, organized mm -hmm. everything kind of people. But the Weimar Republic, and see the name, Weimar, it was a republic. Mm. The Weimar Republic was being modeled after America, basically. American liberalism, mm. laissez-faire, you know, um, freedom and everything. When Weimar crashed, Weimar was one of the reasons why Hitler came to power. Weimar crashed because in America, the old American loans that they took, when the Great Depression happened in America, mm. it reverberated in Germany. Okay. What am I saying? The Weimar Republic didn't crash on it. So it crashed because Wall Street crashed in, in America. So when you see any economy, any currency, the Naira crashing, ask mm. yourself, who is behind what is happening? So this is not even a factor of um, an economic indices of demand and supply. It's simply a, a man-made problem. You're getting there. Now, if, if the people who sell this, who, uh, if maybe a Balende, uh, K, K2, Kosofe, yeah, K2, um, 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 Ike Janda Bridge and all these places, mm. Those people who stand there saying, you want to change dollar, mm. you want to change naira. What do you think? I didn't know that to make that to end a daily living. Mm -hmm. You blame them that the naira is free falling or the, or, 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 or that the dollar is scarce. Let's ask ourselves, who and who are the people who are supplying those people the, the dollar that, they, that is their main? Who is supplying them the dollars? Because the CBN came up and said, we, uh, what, what did they call it? They, they, they said, we, we, have, we have floated the naira now. Therefore, banks will go to uh, airports, open bids and everything. <laughs> the question is, to this day, mm. why have the banks not been able to... Why can't you walk into a bank and just get a foreign exchange as, as you want? Why? The point is, they gave with the right hand mm. and took it with the left hand and pretended that the right hand was still on the table. So what you're saying invariably is that if um, Asuajibola Tinubu hadn't um, you know, opened up that free uh, 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 market for the dollar as against the parallel market and, and, and what happens in the banks itself, that we wouldn't have gotten to this no, position. The point is, so again, I'm careful now to even call it floating of the Naira. Mm. Because if you float something, ideally, if you float something, I mean, just, just if, 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 if you put cork on water mm. or pour oil on water, it never sinks, does it? Yeah. It stays there on the surface. It won't sink. But I, I think what we've done is that we didn't float the Naira. We sunk we sank the Naira, we didn't uh, float it, we sank it. Because we need to understand what is really going on. Government says on paper that they've done this, but in reality, mm. when you look at it, what did they really do? I, 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 I think that's the question. If you went to one of the stories, that, at, at which I believe mm. should, be, or should be on one of the airlines, you'll yeah. see yesterday the EFC raided Dan Gote's uh, office premise and so mm. on. Is it the final and said uh, dollar, whatever, FX? Mm. The issue is that none of these problems we're facing today is new. Is is, um, is 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 sudden, is uh, particularly happening now. These things have been there and have been going on for a very Did you remember that somebody did a story, an investigative story, in which they said that one of the uh, founders of the of one of the new generation banks mm -hmm. went and took a loan at a discounted rate that was illegally less than the rate mm. that was formerly. Well, since that report came out, who has, who has, who has spoken to who? Mm. Who has arrested who? Mm. Who has investigated what? Mm. Yeah. So, you know, if mm. criminal mm. investigation mm. and... and, and <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you are speaking to the last man standing. Espe <laughs> <laughs> especially... Uh, <laughs> especially... especially <laughs> excuse me. And, if, and, and especially financial crimes are not punished. Mm. No other kind of crime. Good, good mm. All right, let's let's um, gravitate from from there to an, another story that are almost in simpatico, and this is saying create economic management team. NES tells uh, Tinibu. It, it would amaze you. Of, of course, it is not uh, surprising. When uh, Aswajibola Tinibu came back for holidays in Lagos, while he was driving through Lagos Island. A large crowd of people were basically shouting, we are hungry, we are hungry, we are hungry. And this boils down to this, he's, he, he is, he's not being able to create the right economic team for the country. Is our president naive to all of these issues? No, 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 no. he is not. Let me even say this. Um, um, 
Henry. In the manner of speaking, given the caliber and stature uh, and the, the persona of Mr. President, mm -hmm. somehow it is difficult to accept the fact that this is the place things are. It's difficult for him to accept for, that this... For one, for one to accept. For oh, okay. to accept that this is where things are. Somehow when a master at the game is running the show. Mm -hmm. It's like in football. Let's look at some of the major coaches. Jose Mourinho, uh, Alex Ferguson, um, Pep Guardiola, mm -hmm. uh, Jurgen Klopp, and so on. Mm -hmm. If they made a team selection to face an opponent, you know, you because of who they are, because of what they've achieved, you believe that anything they, they decide mm -hmm. is normally the best. Because we, we like to say, he in see what we no see. Mm -hmm. You know, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. And of course, he wins, and everybody's happy. So, when coaches like that run into error, you, you don't want to quickly look beyond them. You want to assume that it is either they made the right call or they made the wrong or they made a deliberate call. Okay? Okay. So, because, I mean, when somebody who is, who, is, who is an achiever is making mistakes, you want to find out why did he eventually make it because he should have known better mm. given his experience. Our president is like that. Um, former governor of Lagos State. Mm. Former national leader of the of, of the of the of the APC, mm -hmm. he has a very strong affiliation to the Democratic Party in America. He is a man who, even before he got into government, used to pay. There was a time he he sent out a team to talk to farmers across the country, mm -hmm. main major farmers. I wanted to know what they thought about you know farming and all and all mm -hmm. of that. So if it's if, if it's only for documents, this mm -hmm. president has troves and troves of recommendations and mm -hmm. papers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So what has suddenly gone wrong mm -hmm. with his documents? You see, at the risk of being being unfair to him, mm. one could almost come to the conclusion that where we are today, he is deliberately keeping us there. To what ends? Uh, well, I mean, that's why I say that at the risk of being being, being unfair to him, because he he he, he looks to me like the last person that should run Nigeria the way it is being run today. Exactly. Good. So the only conclusion you come to is it, is it that he does not know? No, he does. So is this deliberate? That's a big question that I find difficult to answer myself. Is he playing to someone's uh, I honestly don't gallery? Know. No, no, no. Sometimes people, people, people say this person is, I mean, um, we, we've seen, na, 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 in, na, in 996, Nigeria played against Brazil. We, 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 were, we were run by three goals to one. We came to win the match by four goals to three. Mm. Thanks to that, uh, Iconic can one for, you know, goal yeah. and like in the in, in, in extra time. But where am I going with all of that? It's just to say that this president, I mean, all the people that supposedly made Lagos stick under him, are with him in Abuja. Mm. So one, I, 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 even if it was for forming an economic team, mm. I wonder why he will have to be advised to do that. The president knows better. Mm. In fact, the world has gone beyond the economic management teams now. You form an, you, a team on, on economic management, you form another team on, on, on innovation and research. You, I mean, <laughs> there are, you, you, you're looking at about three or four different teams mm. that, have, that ought to be feeding you sound um, um, opinion. Mm. But I, like I said, I shudder to think if this is the best the president can do, or like he said, mm. these are temporary pains that will bring us <laughs> long-term gains. Although, logically and empirically speaking, mm. the evidence that long-term gains are coming mm. is in there. Yes, not so there. that's what that makes one think. Is this deliberate? Mm. Because there's a whole lot that is just not working. Mm. Subsidy is gone. And thereafter, We've not seen any... Look, even coming to work this morning, mm. there were fuel queues. Fuel queues have now come to stay. It's now the norm. The Naira is scarce for no reason. It appears it has come to stay. Okay? Do you recall that in the speech from our governor of Kaduna State, um, Rufai May mm. gave, um, what was it called, before the election, mm. he said, N N N N N people, Kaduna people and Nigerians, don't worry. When the new president comes, mm. he will make the old note mm. And the new note available for everybody, mm. and the old note will be same. We know, you know, we'll be on the same page with the new mm. note and everything. Of course, the CBN, the CBN has said that the old notes will remain interminably. Big English is fine, that it will be there forever. Mm. But the question is, why is the naira? If the naira is in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and the naira is within this, why is the naira scarce today? Nobody has an answer to that. Mm. The banks are helpless. The naira is scarce. <coughs> Fuel is scarce. Mm. Food is scarce. Everything is getting the scarcer. Patriotism is, is scarce. It will be scarce because <laughs> somebody I, I I I spoke with a well known one of Nigeria's leading business journalists. You know, 
of um, today. Mm. I, we, I had a chat with him last year and we were talking and he said, Sirio, if somebody promised you $20,000 and another person promised you $20,000, which one will you take? He said, because, of course, it's something I knew, but mm. he said, the currency of any country has a way of promoting patriotism. <laughs> when the dollar is superior to the Naira, and you choose the, the dollar over the Naira, you are inevitably, subconsciously, invariably switching and moving allegiance from your country mm -hmm. to, to, you know, so it's it, 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 it only normal. Mm. Well, the, 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 they say there's this saying that um, what you don't have, you can't give. And that, I guess, is the situation we have right now in Nigeria. But of course, let's move to the next daily. We have from the Vanguard newspaper, the big story there says viral video opera over imposters exposed in army recruitment exercise and still on the top slip of the newspaper we have efcc ex-minister farouk cited illness for shunning our uh, invitation that's coming from the efcc south africans rupa displaces dangote as africa's richest a person plot to appeal court unfair to me governor muftuang tells a supreme court and on the down slip of the same newspaper we have forex pressure worsens as manufacturers goods Imports rise 39% to 3.96 trillion naira. Mr. Cyril, it's still the same thing we 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 were discussing, and um, it, it now it, it it has gone to the man, the Manufacturing Association of Nigeria, and these are the bedrock of our economy. You know, the Manufacturing Association of Nigeria, in fact, you know, for several months now, I sometimes I feel I. I, I, I it, it's, it's a pity that they find themselves where in, in, this, in this very sorry situation. Um, they're in a very terrible place. They're in a very bad place. Um, first, in fact, since 2015, Nigerian manufacturing has been on, ha, ha, has been not just on a downward slide, has been rolling down a, 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 a slope going mm. down. Yes, they've been closing shop. Now you see the big, the big um, foreign investors the, yes, okay. began to short, short their offices. Uh, I'm drug, preferring drug, to import drug, drug manufacturers, mm. uh, FMCGs, mm. all kinds of people packing their bag and saying, you know what, we can no longer sustain our businesses in this country, and they're moving away. Mm. The problem is not that they don't want to do business in Nigeria. The problem is that Nigeria is no longer interested in doing business with them. Nigeria is not interested it's in no doing longer business. Interested. Like, I'll give you an example. Water in which fish dwells, mm -hmm. that is the fish's natural habitat. Mm -hmm. When that water begins to rise to an unfriendly temperature, mm. that fish can be cooked in the water. True. That's where we are today. It's a good environment. The weather is beautiful. The people are very lively and active. Nigerians can walk 24 hours a day. They will not get tired of it. Mm. They can wake up 4 a.m., walk till 11. The following day, they're up again at 4 a.m. Nigerians and Nigerians like to consume things they buy. Anything mm. produced in Nigeria just sells like that. True. Okay? Nigerians are very ingenious. They are very hardworking and they are very re resilient. And you, you never allow people to work for you. But when that environment is beginning to cripple, deliberately cripple, big bullets that cripple your business, are you going to stay there? No. You cannot produce something at five naira, and you want to sell it at eight naira. Then, as soon as you produce at five naira, and you 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 will be on the road going to sell, okay? Mm. When you suddenly hear that production cost has risen to as, has risen to as much as eleven naira, you get what I'm saying. Mm. And the whole thing is not is 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 going policy. They will run away. They were most boiling. They were closing shop. And this is the reason why price of things continue to go up. Ask yourself this question. Among the things we produce in Nigeria, that, that we use in Nigeria, how many things can we produce in Nigeria right now? Anymore. So this is the problem. Uh, the EFC in the other story said that, that the, the, the former Minister of Humanitarian Affairs mm -mm. said she, she, was, she, she cited illness as the reason why she could not uh, attend their, 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 their summons. Yeah, the invitation. We need to go beyond the propaganda war. If this woman is, what is it called, is, um, has questions to answer, she has to answer those questions. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't buy the the story of illness. I, well, I mean, it's a fundamental right. I, I, can't, I can't speak ill of her. Exactly. But um, the point is that somehow one needs to... Uh, I mean, 37.1 billion, and that's a lot of money. Mm. So can they interview her virtually? Can they visit and just take a statement or something? But is, is she still 
in Nigeria? Does she still stay in Nigeria? I can't say because, I'm, but I mean, it, 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 it's up to them. If you, there's a lot of, look, they rot. That was left behind in the, by the Buhari government. If President Tinubu and his team will not address it aggressively and address it with all the seriousness that, that, that it deserves, it will come back to haunt them. It will come back to haunt to, to them. So it's up to them to know how they want to get out of it. All right, so let's uh, move to our uh, last uh, daily for uh, today, and this is coming from the Nigerian Tribune, and the big story there says EFCC storms Dangote headquarters, and the writer says investigations part of a Mervilles uh, case. On the top uh, slip of the newspaper, we have Latu killings, police arrest eight suspects. And um, we have um, on the downslip of the same newspaper, on the PDP appoints acting chairman, says Adam's suspension um, re remains. And um, on the very top slip of the same newspaper, we have a here withdraws suit against 25 Rivers Assembly members. Appeal court judgment on fair to me, Plateau government uh, tells the Supreme Court. Now let's dig deep on the EFCC storm in uh, Dangote's uh, um, headquarters. Now we all know that Dangote is one of the biggest you know, um, investors in in Nigeria. He he has he has done so so much. You know, he has you know the one person that has given Nigerians more jobs than any other individual when it comes to his investments <laughs> in, in lots of sectors: the FMCG, the oil and gas, the 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 real estate, and so on and so forth. What is going on here? Well, if the EFCC sincerely believes that they have credible reason. Is the evidence that reason to visit any Nigerian, whether you're rich or poor, whether you're young or old, as far as the law has to take its course, they have the constitutional powers to uh, undertake or to execute their their, their function hmm. as a as an agency of government backed by law. So, um, but the fact again has to be that now we seem to be seeing the EFCC. They are going after the former Minister of Humanitarian Affairs. Mm -hmm. They are investigating the NSIP or so, the other woman who was in charge of um, uh, the, the one that Tinubu suspended. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now there is also Dan Gute and so on. The real, like, like I said earlier, none of these things is new to Nigerians. Just that for a long time, the EFC seemed to have lost its teeth. But not Dan Gute of all people. No. He has always been no. that, that, that jolly good fellow, no. you know, that parties with every government that not is in power. Not necessarily. People have said that Dangote was being given, well, I mean, this is... Uh, alleged. Yes, alleged. And okay. It's not, I'm not aware <coughs> if this is the same reason the EFCC went there. Okay. But of course, being that CBN related, you know, CBN due to currency, right? Mm -hmm. mm. But what, what, what people had often said was that the likes of Dangote and others were receiving dollars at special rates. rates. And then we have been allowed to you to use it as, you know, to... Mm. So I think that's what you call arbitrage, mm. right? arbitrage or is arbitrage. So uh, people have always said these things that, look, the likes of Dangote and other big wigs in the country. So, I mean, but if it was true, mm -hmm. then whoever is, whoever is involved, like I said, Dangote and other person would be, um, would be liable to criminal prosecution. Mm -hmm. But you must have evidence. Over the years, what we've seen the EFC do is that they go and do a raid or arrest somebody, then lock the person up somewhere and, and, and be looking for evidence. What, the, what Nigeria even did to Temefile, I, want, I believe that man will work free very soon. Because mm -hmm. they 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 bungled the case even before it started. Alright? So if you don't have evidence, if, if if you're not sure of anything in the uh, why why do you in the first place go and undertake a raid? Now what now ever since the raid happened, what have we even had? Alright? So you don't just go and raid somebody who uh, when you know that your raid on his facility could be a reputation, could bring a reputational damage mm -hmm. to his image, given who he is in you know in the in the Community of 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 of, um, of the world's wealthy. No thanks to President Buhari's uh, policies where they, for the past eight years. For for I mean, in in the eighties that that, that 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 was in power. Then they fell from being the richest black man to God knows what he is now. Mm. And in fact, I think this morning you took a story saying that yeah, that Rupert is that is your Johan your your hand yeah, report. Yeah, yeah, Rupert and yeah. Yeah. But of course, these are people who are who are businessmen. Mm. Today you could be there. Tomorrow you could mm, be there. I mean, exactly. it's, 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 but the point is. The EFC really didn't go there. This is not some. I mean, you 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 don't you don't you don't read a man when all you want to do is just to make the headlines. Uh -huh. uh, let something in the next six months. I want to believe that 
among the people that EFC is speaking now, so something substantial should have come out of it. Okay. Anything other than that will be will, 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 will amount to no more than playing to the gallery. Exactly. Okay, lastly, let's let's talk about the AHS case. AHS will withdraw suit against 25 Rivers Assembly members. Uh, what are we no, seeing the, here? What, the, what's happening? The issue in River State. It. Clearly, the political class there is putting itself ahead and above of um, the people. Okay. It's not about people. It's, it's not even about the law, substantively. I think in the end it comes down to the elite. I read a, um, a comment by a senior colleague in this profession mm -hmm. who was saying that, that uh, Nigeria's walls were built on two pillars. One was that it had a very wicked, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm using his words, mm. wicked and a very bad and wicked <coughs> elite. That's what he called it, mm. a bad and wicked elite. So, um, who don't care about law? Mm. who don't care about the, the people, who don't care about even the democracy that they claim to be practicing. Those are not their priorities. Their priorities are what they can get for themselves. Mm. Um, so if anybody protested against the uh, attempt to impeach Mr. Governor mm. and, and said, Mr. Here is now the speaker, da, 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 mm. and you are shouting, and maybe the person who lost his life, he, he, he would have died for nothing. Now, I would love you to help us make sense of, of this. Uh, we, we had, um, oh, Nigerians saw a viral video of Seminalai Fubara doing his uh, New Year's Eve message in a church. When he, he talked about, he, he picked up a pen from his, from his, his said, Bible, I said, this red Bible. Bible. Can you help us no, explain that? Because no. You know, <laughs> the, thing, the thing is this. Hmm. Um, I, like I've told people, I said, I'm from River State. That's my state. And... Mr. Fubara does not seem to be a man who wants to fight that fight that the people want him to fight on their behalf, as it were, against Mr. Wiki. He doesn't look like somebody who wants to uh, put up that fight. Now, the other point, I think that we are now also seeing that uh, he has capacity for, for, I won't call it mischief, he has capacity for and it's not double speak, mm. but, he has, but he has capacity to also impress or come across mm. as a man, as one who is descending. Okay. That thing he said suited the people, you know, you know, because they they gave an ovation. Yeah, there was hey, an opera. Hey, hey. Yes, there was an opera. But what's the symbolism of the red vinyl? No, that's the governor's pen. Oh, okay. The governor's pen. Mm. The governor signs in red color. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So the argument is what he's trying to say there. Is the fact that they want the governor's, they want the governor's pen, they mm. want my office, they want my seat, oh, but okay. it is still with me, and they oh. can't get. But I think he was only playing to the gallery. He was, he was only trying to, uh, because in the end, um, um, he remains governor. Mm -hmm. Wiki remains godfather. Uh, uh, he is still in power, mm. governorship of staff. You know, so somehow they are all winners. Mm. Uh, they are all winners, and who are the losers now? Mm. The people, of the course, people. the people so they don't, of they don't care about, Yeah. Well, that's just about the time we have for our newspaper reviews this morning. Love to say thank you to uh, Mr. Cyril Abaku for being part of our show today. Thank, thank you, you so very much, much for being part. So when we return, NUC shots are open 58 illegal universities in Nigeria. Details when we return is still Enterprise Friday. Please don't go anywhere.